Good day. In this video, we are going to try and solve question 1E to 1H of the 2023 November numeracy exam called Use Maths and Stats to Meet the Numeracy Demand of a Range of Situations. The paper number is 32406. As you know, in this paper, there are three outcomes, 1, 2, and 3, and you need to get a certain number of outcome 1, 2, and 3 to pass this unit standard. And if you pass this, you have 10 numeracy credits. So without further ado, let's do question 1E. So 1E sounds like this. It's a straightforward question and we shall try to tackle them. Okay, so now the waka, this is the waka, is facing north. So this is north, this must be south, and this must be east, this must be west, okay? Which island does the waka face if it turns 135 degrees clockwise without moving forward? Select the answers from the choices below. If this is zero degrees, if it moves 90 degrees, it's going to be east. And to get 135, we have to move another 45 degrees. So that point here is going to point at this island and the answer is C. Great. Now we shall do a question 1F. 1F is also an easy question, a straightforward question. And let's try to tackle them. Let's read the question. Okay. So Hine die for kura or crayfish on the sea floor. This is a sea floor, okay? The sea floor is 17 meters below sea level. So this is the sea level. 17 meters is the height here, okay? How many meters below sea level is Hine after she rises 8 meters? So she rises 8 meters from the sea floor. If this is 17, this is 8. So she is 9 meters below sea level. So she is written at minus 9 meters. If you get the answer right, and that will be option number 1. Okay, now we look at question part C. No, sorry. E, F, G now. Okay, we are now at question 1G. We shall read the question. Okay, so three flight leave from Auckland Airport. Oi Lily claim that comparing the flight time from Fiji to Fiji and Norway, the flight to Tonga takes the longest. So we are going to calculate the time. So... Fiji, it live at 9.55 or 0.955, it will reach at 1300 hours. For Tonga, it will live at 11.25, it will reach Tonga at 14.15. And for Noe, it live at 8.15, 0.815, and it will reach uh, Noe at 11.45. So we're going to calculate the time for each of the destinations. So for Fiji, 0.955, you go to 10 o'clock, it's 5 minutes. From 10 to 1 o'clock, is 3 hours. So total time is 3 hours and 5 minutes. Tonga, on the other hand, it starts at 11.25. We jump to 12 o'clock. From 11.25 to 12 is 35 minutes. 12 to 2 o'clock or 1400 hours is 2 hours. And then from 2 o'clock to 2.15 or 14.15, it's 15 minutes. You add all this time number, it's going to be 2 hours and 15 minutes. Similarly, for nowhere, the start is 8.15 to 9 o'clock is 45 minutes. 9 to 11 is 2 hours. 11 to 11.45 is 45. You add all these numbers. 2 hours and uh, plus 45 plus 45 is 3 hours 30 minutes. So we can claim that O'Lili is not right because Tonga is actually the shorter 2 hours and 15 minutes. Followed by Fiji, 3 hours, 5 minutes. And then Nui is the furthest at 3 hours and 30 minutes. So his claim that Tonga takes the flight, uh, the flight to Tonga is the longest is not true because Tonga is actually the shortest distance or the shortest time to travel to Tonga is 2 hours, 50 minutes. So he is not right. So that is question number 1G. And we're now going to do the last question or question 1. That is question 1H. Okay, so now we're going to answer this question. Okay, 1,000 New Zealanders were asked, are you hoping to visit Samoa this year? The people who said yes were asked, what is the reason for going to Samoa? So these are the two graphs. So we have the graph here. Okay, so we're going to answer, select the statement that are true about the 1,000 New Zealanders. There is more than one answer. So the question is, 10% of the people were hoping to visit Samoa this year. So we look at this graph. Are you hoping to visit Samoa? So 10%. So that's right. So that is true. Next question. 200 people were not sure if they would visit Samoa this year. So not sure is actually 20%. So 20% of 1,000 people is going to be 200. That is also true. We're going to leave 
question three for a while, we do question four. About one third of the people hoping to visit someone this year were going to visit friends or relatives. So you look at this chart here, 30% friends and relatives in this shaded region, 30%. So 30% is about one third or 33% is one third. So we will say that's acceptable. Okay, question three is a bit tricky. 500 people were hoping to visit Samoa, okay, to have a holiday. So if you look at the graph here, only 10%, 10% 10 of 1,000 people is not 500 people. So I would say it is no. So that is the answer for question 1H. So hope you understand this and I'll see you for question 2. Cheers everyone and have a good day.